Hi guys, my name is Gunnar Jemskull and we are going to take a look at the eight new architect homes that have been introduced into Sims Free Play on the 5th of March 2018. If you're watching this video at a much later date and you haven't got these architect homes, it, they will have changed by now. I think we generally tend to keep our architect homes around sort of three weeks or so before they change them. But just by scrolling through, I am excited. There looks to be a few decent bills here. I'm going to show you them all on a premium lot, but it looks like actually they may be able to be built, or some of them at least, will be built on a standard size lot. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first one. So as usual with these houses, we're looking if there is anything rare within them or anything that's worth a lot of LP or SP to see if it's worth us building. So this can be built on a standard lot and so far it doesn't seem to be like there's anything rare or LP. It's got quite basic simple furniture in there from what I can tell. It's got that's weird. It has a toaster and a coffee maker in the <laughs> in the lounge, but I mean fair enough. Let's go upstairs. I like this upstairs. I don't know whether these chairs or these red stools are available to us. I'm not 100 percent sure. It may be if they're not, it may be worth building for them. And these red stools as well in here. I have a feeling that they're not available, but by all means, correct me down below in the comments. Oh, there is three of the Thanksgiving beanbags, which I love those. I think they're pretty awesome. Oh, we have got another floor, actually. I didn't think we had another floor, but we do have another floor. And nothing, I mean, not really. There's the lamp from the chalet quest. Nothing major in this house. I do quite like the look of that, though. Here's the second build, and this definitely looks like a redesign of one of the houses that we already have, the pre-built houses that's in the game. But it's got, oh, it's got quite a few floors. It can be built on a standard size lot. Let's go down. Has it got a basement as well? It does have a basement, so it looks like it's going to have a lot of furniture in this. We've got a fire monkey out the front, which I love him. He's pretty cool. What do we have? I don't think... Nothing crazy rare. I think this this senior furniture, this kind of polka, not polka dot, uh, checkered furniture is from the seniors quest, is it? Maybe, or something to do with the seniors that you may not, everyone may not have that possibly. Uh, but we've got a Scandinavian TV, which is my favourite TV in the game. I think it's amazing. And we've got a record player that I think is SP. Some of the spa furniture there that some people may not have. Let's go down into the basement first off. And there's a lot down here. Nothing that immediately kind of jumps out at me personally for kind of my wants within the game, but I know everyone is obviously different and everyone has completed, everyone's come to the game at different times and has completed different uh, quests and things and limited time events. So it could be that something that I don't particularly think of is a good item to have, you may think is what have we got we've got a serenity reigns in the house here one of those computers i love those dual computers um let's go we have got quite a lot of these sp windows which is cool we've got a little headwig there i don't know this is it's reasonably it has got a lot of furniture <laughs> I don't know, whether it, I don't know, the art, Wedding Arbor is like 7 LP, these corner fountains I think are like 5 SP or LP. I don't know, let me know what you think of that, do you think that's worth building or not? I'm not entirely sure to be honest. House number 3, this was the one I was drawn to from the town map because I just like the build. I like those uh, pillars there, it looks pretty cool. Oh, have we got some taupe? Mm, we have two totem poles there. I know they are worth quite a few SP, LP, one of the two. What have we got? Let me see. Oh, we've got a Christmas tree. There's a Christmas tree in this house. This, these counters here are um, LP to buy or SP. We've got a bar. There's a barbecue inside. I don't think I've ever seen a barbecue inside any house ever. 
there is yes, I mean you might want it just for the Christmas tree, to be honest. These I love these uh corner vase things here. These are about 35 SP each. And that stereo as well is pretty cool. We've got another headwig, we've got the fish, which is real money. This awesome fireplace. Oh, this potentially is worth building. Let's go down. We've got a basement here. And oh. There's lots of stuff, isn't there? Another Scandinavian TV there. Some of the sci-fi countertops and bathroom stuff. That might be worth it. Let's go up to the second floor. And, oh, what's going on? Is it like a, I think it's a balcony, isn't it? Yeah, okay, it's a balcony. On the second floor. I quite like this build. is I was trying to wonder what this was but it's the fireplace isn't it from down there I was like is it a lift or like what is it but it's just the fireplace it goes all the way up through through the house which is cool uh what have we got we've got another record player some chalet rugs I love those uh shag rugs the black and the white ones um we've got lots of toddler furniture I know a, quite a lot of that is LP I'm not sure whether any of that specifically is, but I'm not sure. Let's go and go up to the next floor and up here. Another Scandinavian. There's quite a lot of furniture in here, to be honest, that I feel I would potentially quite like. Another uh, gaming computer, two, two monitor computer, some of the wedding stuff and a wedding arbor. I'm not sure about that. What do you guys think? I may build that. It depends if there's something better further on, but I may actually build that. Here is the fourth house, and this is just a one story, standard size lot, but I think, yeah, we've got a basement actually, so a big basement as well. Uh, what have we? Where do we get in? Is this where we get in? This is a weird entrance, right? <laughs> it's got a big stereo out there. Uh, we've got the unicorn. Uh, painting which I think was a limited time prize with an early quest what else have we got nothing particular I don't think I don't see anything crazy rare let's go downstairs and see I think this is all the teen idol instruments I'm not sure whether these are the ones that are LP, like the expensive ones, or the cheap ones. They look like the expensive ones, at least that mic does anyway, doesn't it? Mm. What else do we have? Nothing really, to be honest. Nothing that jumps out at me and makes me think that I should build this house, in all honesty. I love this princess bed, though. How cute is that? Can we buy that? I'm not entirely sure, actually. Can we buy that bed? If we can, I'm pretty sure it must be LP because I generally don't use it in my town. Those blocks are like 12 LP as well, I think. I don't know. Mm, I'm not sure about this one either. Here is the fifth house and standard size, two floor. Looks pretty basic. Yeah, let's go upstairs. And I didn't know. There's not much here. No, I won't build, be building that one. There is nothing in that house that I feel like I have missed out on that I want. Here's the sixth house. And oh, look at this like jaggedy path. I like that. This is two floors. And we've got a Serenity Reigns as you enter. Like a weird outdoor area that's like in the middle <laughs> with a, just a, a trampoline. That's odd. Um, nothing, nothing rare though. Let's go upstairs and see if there's anything rare upstairs. No, nothing, to be honest. Well, actually, I, I quite like that build though. Look at it. Looks quite cool. I like the design. Here's the seventh house and, oh, look at this. This is a, yeah, standard size house again. I think they're all standard size, these ones. And I love these fireplaces. These are definitely my favourite fireplaces in the game. Although actually now we've got a few different ones. 
So maybe I might have to say that these aren't, I really like that one from earlier on. Like, um, I think it was, did it come with the chalet? I think it came with the chalet. I really like that one now. So maybe I'll have to retire the fact that this is my favorite fireplace. Uh, what have we got? Anything? Nothing. Mm. No, let's go upstairs. Fairly basic standard furniture, to be honest, although the build is really pretty awesome. How have they done that? I think, have we had this house before? This looks quite familiar or something very similar to this anyway. I remember like figuring out how they did this bit here that where the roof is extended on this bit because normally the rest of the house roof would like jump up. Hmm, I like it though, look at it, pretty cool. And here is the last house and this is again a standard size house, three floors. Has it got, are they Latin windows? I think they may be Latin windows, which potentially Oh, has it got a lot of Latin furniture? And this could be where, I mean, for me, this is 23 million simoleons, which is crazy, crazy money. It actually, it would be really interesting. Let me know down below, how much is this house for you to um to buy? Like I say, mine's 23 million. It's crazy. It's different for everyone, depending upon how many houses you've got in your town. But this could be, hang on. So we've got two fire monkeys there. Um, some Latin furniture here, which oh, I just love the Latin furniture. It's not something I ever use because, is it SP? I can't remember what it is. Or do we not, can we not have it? What's the deal with Latin furniture? We can only get it if we build a Latin house that costs something like 350 SP or something. The fireplace is pretty damn awesome. I might have to build this. I know it's crazy, complete and utter crazy money. But look at all these kitchen cabinets that you get. And ooh, oh, we got a fondue set. I do like a good fondue set. Oh, wow. Yeah, this may have to be built. Oh, we got a bit of the fairy furniture there. Very randomly, but fair enough. What have we got outside? So we've got some more of the Latin furniture, Latin barbecue, Latin bar. I really like this build. Some party lights out there. Let's go ahead. And go upstairs just some more stuff more latin furniture more beds more um, fireplaces and things we've got this tv which is an amazing tv i really like these retro style tvs is this the 50s tv i think i'm not entirely sure um what else have we got yeah we've got like oh, another fondue set i'm gonna have to build this guys oh look at this room i like this room i have never seen that hanging basket before I really like that hanging basket. This is going to have to be built. Oh, we've got one of those vases there. Let's go up to the last floor. And so much more. Is this maybe like a block of flats? I think maybe it's a block of flats, isn't it? And each floor is pretty self-contained, possibly. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. I'm going to have to build this. Oh, look, you can see. This is a balcony and that goes down. Maybe it's not a block of flats. I've no idea what it is to be honest. It doesn't really matter. But <laughs> I would only be building it for the furniture. I love this. Like, yeah, this is, I mean, it's 23 million. I haven't got 23 million at the moment, but I will get 23 million. And then I will build this house because I love all of that light and furniture and all of the windows and everything. It's pretty cool. It doesn't, I mean, it, it's just kind of like quite square. -ish. It doesn't look anything amazing from the outside, I suppose. But I love all the furniture inside it. But, and we get one of these space sci-fi cars. Do we get the car? I think we do get the car, don't we, when we build the um, when we build the house. I'm pretty sure we do anyway. There's a look at the eight new architect homes. Let me know what you think. Will you be building any? I think after having a little tour of them all, Probably the only one that I'm going to build is that last one. I am going to have to go and get some more simoleons and build, I may even be tempted to build two of them, to be honest, to get all of that Latin furniture 
if I can get enough money because yeah it's crazy money let me know down below actually let's go the first house first one for me is five and a half million let me know how much the first one is for you to build that's on a stand a premium size lot actually in fact let's go on a, a standard size lot and see the price difference oh see look so on a standard size lot the first house is two million cheaper it's three and a half million and the last one is 21 was it 21 million before i can't remember i feel like it was 20, still 21 million anyway there you go guys that is a tour of all the architect homes let me know if you are going to be building any give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe if you are new and i will see you guys soon for a new video thanks for watching bye